and it matched the pattern he'd found in other ME patients. Another finding that I think suggests a physical cause for ME comes, funnily enough, from horses. A link between ME and viruses has been found by Professor Mowbray. I had a phone call from a vet in Newmarket, from uh, a group of vets who are particularly interested in horse, horses and race horses. And he said, I've been asked if I would phone you because you know something about fatigue syndromes in people. And I have a group of horses who have uh, a change in their white cell count, which doesn't occur in men, but they have um, a fatigue syndrome. And could it possibly be the same? And they either won't, won't go out for exercise or can't, can't be dragged out of the stable yard. Or when they are dragged out, they pull up when racing or exercising. And I said, well, it sounds very similar. Let's have a look and see. So we looked and we found, very much to our surprise, that they had the virus protein of enteroviruses in the blood. Indeed, the only horses with enteroviruses known are the ones with this fatigue symptom. The link between horses and viruses supports similar research on humans. I am sure that my own illness and all those I've come across have been triggered by a virus. About ten years ago, we decided to show whether there were some people who had fatigue syndromes who really did have long-term infection with a virus. We chose to use the study enteroviruses because they were the ones for which there was some evidence from previous work that enteroviruses might be implicated in patients with fatigue syndromes. We then showed that there was actual a virus infection in a group of patients and that when tested a year later they still had the same strain of virus. In other words, they were truly chronically persistently infected. And that when the virus went away, their symptoms went away. Horses can get ME with enterovirus in their blood, just as has been discovered in humans. It really makes me mad that this can be accepted in horses who don't have to go and see psychiatrists to get better, but yet denied in humans who are still disbelieved and told that they've got an imaginary illness. Do horses get hysteria by copying each other's symptoms? Horses, when they've got this fatigue syndrome, ME, they're allowed to rest quietly in their stables until they feel better and then they exercise as much as they're able to. They're allowed to get better naturally in their own time. So why can't humans with ME be allowed the same thing? But how did we get into the situation where ME patients can carry the label malingerer? Stay return to chamber 12, please. I believe it's because doctors' opinions may be based on ignorance. Until I became ill, I hadn't even heard of ME, even though I had a degree in medicine. I wasn't taught it in medical school, and there was no mention of it in my textbooks. This lack of information is surprising, considering it's not a new disease. Florence Nightingale probably had ME. When she returned from her very hard-working job in the Crimea, she became unable to walk, nor to cope with conversation for the rest of her life. And yet, from her bed and her couch, she proceeded to reorganize all the nursing services in this country. Nobody could accuse her of being a yuppie or a malingerer. The best-known outbreak of ME in this country took place in 1955, when nearly 300 hospital staff in London developed an illness over four months. They complained of fever, painful limbs, and neurological symptoms. I'm going to see one of those people affected at the time. If ME is just mere attention-seeking or stress, you'd think it would have worn off by now, especially in peaceful Tunbridge. But Rosemary Hewitt is still suffering from what I'm sure is a persistent viral infection. I was very ill. It was obviously uh, my brain seemed to have been affected. In fact, and afterwards it was damaged. And I couldn't sit up, I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything for quite, quite a time. And as I began to get better and tried to walk again, standing seemed almost as difficult as walking. 
and obviously something was radically wrong. The virus that affected you back in 1955, I believe it must have been a particularly virulent one. It must have been because of the way it spread. Because after all, as I had, I'd been in contact with plenty of viruses. And uh, I'd nursed some teen children, especially during the war when I evacuated the school and turned it into a boarding school. There's 50 cases of chicken pox and almost as many of mumps and times. Uh, it wasn't a question of either being under tremendous stress or a, um, it was a virus that hit us. But there's no doubt about it that anybody who has ME and ME that lasts for just on 40 years is very badly affected because although you have times when you feel better and you can look to the public as if you're perfectly well. I mean, people will say, now how well you look. Uh, it doesn't mean that the legs, the arms, throat, the diaphragm, any of those bits are still working 100%. After the 1955 epidemic, two psychiatrists published a damaging article saying it was hysteria.